Yo, welcome back my people. In this video, I haven't really came up with the idea yet. I'm just going to be telling you about my journey that I've gone over over the last two years. How I went from basically completely broken, useless two years ago at 21 to where I am now at 23 and where I'm making $50,000 a month. And I'm just going off the dome because I want this to be like I'm just speaking to you personally like you're a friend and I'm explaining to you the journey I went on and the key lessons that I took away in that process. So to take you back, I was in school. A key moment that I remember in school was I got called into the principal's office because I was riding on the side of a car that my friend was driving through the car park and the principal walked out of the front office and saw it. It was like in the middle of the day Day, no one was out the principal just so happened to walk out the front door of the principal's office and see me hanging onto the side of this car this was like four weeks before we graduated and we got called into the office and they were basically saying like we're about to expel you we're giving you so many warnings etc etc and i got into this deep and meaningful conversation with the principal and she was like what do you want to do with your life because i think you should move away and go to uni but that doesn't seem like something you're going to do i don't think you should just stay in this small town and do a trade or anything like that i knew i wasn't going to work a trade my whole life. I knew I wasn't going to go to uni because I hated school, but I didn't know what I was going to do. Turns out I would start working for my dad in construction and I would in this construction job be making good money, be comfortable. I had a girlfriend at the time, so everything was there for me to fall into this complacency trap where I was living at home, I had a girl, had a solid income, and I knew it was a complacency trap. I knew this would set me up for a life of mediocrity. Now, most people never realize that and they're never able to take a step back and go, hold on, if I continue down this path, although I'm comfortable, it's not gonna lead me to live a good life. I recognize this. I I broke up with my girlfriend of like three years. I told my dad that I didn't want to work for him anymore. And I decided to move to a city. I moved to Melbourne. I moved to Melbourne with about $17,000, which I thought was good for a 21 year old. It's nothing. I moved to Melbourne, drained my bank account to zero relatively quickly. And I was in a new construction job, but this was like a laboring job. It was a far, far worse job. And I hated it. And in Melbourne, it's really cold. And I remember waking up every morning at about 5 a.m., freezing cold, walking about an 30 minutes 30 minute walk but i would walk it quickly to my car because i couldn't fit my car because i got a big car i couldn't fit it in the underground parking and i didn't have a space we only had one car space me and my roommate and he had the car space so i had to park my car 10 20 minutes 30 minutes from the actual apartment building so i'd wake up 5 a.m freezing cold walk out the front door of the apartment building walk 20 minutes miserable to my car parked in the street i would then get in my car then i would drive 40 to 50 minutes to the job site or to the warehouse wherever i was working that day or into the city all long drives freezing and cold early as in the morning so this is miserable like i just want you to imagine waking up every morning at 5 a.m walking in darkness in freezing cold rainy conditions every day for like six months and i would work for like eight ten hours a day shittest work you could imagine like putting in suspended ceilings there was the thing that actually made me crack is i was working this shitty job for about six months i for a period before i quit there was probably a three to four week period or two to three week period where my job was to shovel mud from behind a retaining wall into two buckets and then and carry those two buckets to a skip bin like a big bin and dump them in the bin this was really i don't know how to explain it but it was very demeaning work like i felt such a useless human that this is the value that i'm providing to the world and as this happens because i knew i had moved out of the complacency trap of living at home and now i was discontent and i couldn't bear to live in this situation anymore it was good because it had forced me into action so while i was working this job and while i was shoveling these buckets of mud i dived deep into online business and i started self-educating on how people make money what money is i was listening to everything every podcast every ebook diving deep into entrepreneurship and how people actually make money i started to learn some really really important lessons and i ended up wanting to start a social media marketing agency i learned about it for one to two weeks it learned about money learned about business and then i tried to start so i wasn't one of these people where i just f***ed around and procrastinated and just researched for months and months and months nope it was one to two weeks of learning and then straight away taking action this wasn't something someone had told me to do where it's like hey you need to take action it was just natural it was like when you're so discontent and you hate life so much you just start making moves because you don't have a choice i tried to start a social media marketing agency set up like a domain and a website and i ate shit like i didn't know what the fuck i was doing then i was with my homie we went to watch a game a football game in a bar and this guy in the bar i tried to start sma i wanted to do online business and he's like bro you should do high ticket sales didn't know what the fuck it was he gave me two facebook groups to join i joined those facebook groups i threw some posts 
post up looking for a job. I got reached out to by this guy and he said, hey, you're looking to get into high ticket sales, blah, blah, blah. Do you need help? I ended up getting on a call with this guy. He ended up closing me for like $4,000, I think. I was broke at the time. So I had to split it up crazy, like split it up four or five different ways to make it work. And even then I, I still took too long to pay it just because I didn't actually have the money, but he was okay with me. He would then become my mentor. So this guy is basically solely responsible for everything you see today. He taught me everything. He taught me how to sell. He taught me how to post content. He told me to do everything that I've done up until this point. He's the mastermind behind me, basically. Obviously I have the vision. I have the work ethic. I have the focus. I have the discipline. I have all these things. I put the work in, but he gave me the path, basically. I. I am in his sales agency for about a month and then they call me and they offer me an appointment setting role while I'm actually working this construction job. The first week I made $600. The next two weeks I made $250 and the first week I made $600. My boss at the time, I'm appointment setting while I'm at work. So I'm on my phone while I should be working setting DMs because I obviously want to get out. And because I'm on my phone so much trying to make money from that, which I am, I made $600 my first week. They start, I stay hearing murmurs about him wanting to fire me, my boss. As soon as I hear that, I walk walk out and I just drive and I don't come back and I decided I'm quitting. So I quit. I'm not working that job anymore. I made $600. I'm like, yep, now I've got all this time. I can give this 100% of my time. I'm going to only make more than $600, right? The next two weeks, I made $250. So my income instantly dumped. I was making less than what my rent was a week. So I'm fucked at this point. I must start thinking about, maybe I got to get a job again, blah, blah, blah. But I fucked that shit out, prayed to God. And then I got offered a closing role. I started closing full time. Then over the next six months, it wasn't good. It was up and down very questionable week sometimes i didn't know if i was going to be making enough money to live off and i ended up living with my other homie for about three months and i wasn't putting any money aside still so i'm still only just making enough money to live off still living paycheck to paycheck although now i'm working from home i'm doing sales i'm enjoying life more i then made a decision to move back to my hometown where i'd come from it was kind of like giving up like it didn't feel like i was a failure because i knew what i was moving home for i knew i was in the city i wasn't saving any money distractions i said let me move home i'm gonna lock myself in my room until i get what i need i move home lock myself in my room. One month after locking myself in my room and just focusing on nothing but making as much money as possible, I hit $10,000 a month in straight sales commissions. This shows you how important isolation and pure focus is. Me being so hungry, me having no distractions, me being locked in my room. Some people like call it monk mode and all these different things. You can enter a state of like permanent monk mode where you, all you do is work. And when you do work for an extended period of time and you actually enjoy it the work doesn't become work the work becomes your purpose and your mission and that becomes enjoyable you only find purpose and you only find meaning in something when you get really good at it then you can enjoy it then it's fun then it becomes your purpose you create your purpose you don't find your purpose and this is what i did by actually locking myself in and getting really really good at something this is what i suggest you all do as well don't start looking for something that you're passionate about you will build passion in getting good at something i made 10k a month as soon as i made 10k a month i started posting content everything from then on has exploded to where I am now. But that was basically how everything started. So I guess the key takeaways from this, regardless of what your situation is, you can find discontentment. You need to find discontentment. If you're complacent, you're never going to grow. The only reason, the actual only reason that I am successful today is because I left the comfort zone. I left where I was comfortable, shed away all my identity that was putting me in that comfort zone and moved somewhere completely new, got a completely new job, changed everything. Everything got worse. Everything about my life got worse. I was lonely. I was broke. You can't stay there. A lot of people do, but if you're wired like me, which you probably are if you're watching this, you can't stay in that. You can stay in the comfort zone forever. But if you get out of that and you make intentionally make everything worse, then things can get better. Things It would almost be better if things were worse because it would force you into taking action. So if you're watching this right now and you're kind of in this zone where you're like, I mean, things could be better, but like things are all right. Like I'm making two grand a week. Like I got my girl here. Break up with your girl. Go get a and terrible job and that'll force you into actually doing better so it might be advice but it's just what worked for me another thing is you need to almost be autistic in your approach to things look if you're not where you want to be you don't need social life you don't need balance you don't need anything what you need is isolation you need to lock yourself in your room until you figure it out this is what works for me and this is what works for other successful people i know isolation dedication focus and just that unwavering hunger to actually
naturally and you got to create that a lot of you and i know i didn't a lot of people don't just innately have this hunger to be successful it's not there but you can create it and you create it by first being in discomfort when you are in discomfort it forces you into taking action and studying and becoming a student of the game and getting good at something through getting good at something then you find passion and you find purpose and then you can get obsessed with something obsession trumps all i've said it before when you're obsessed you're controlled by something out of body it forces you to work 24 7 but you get obsessed with something when you get good at something so go all in put your back against the wall don't give yourself a plan b don't give yourself another option dedicate to one thing for at least one to two years and you will get good at that thing then you will become obsessed you will find purpose and you'll find meaning and you'll find passion in what you've gotten good at then you can just scale that to the moon that's what i did that's the start of my journey and you are going to watch the remainder of my journey with me that is all i'm keen to see all of you guys go on your own journey 